double-click the SketchUp 2020 to launch it. In the welcome window, one-click at the simple template in inches to start a new file. Choose the rectangle tool, it's actually the shapes tool. One click in the middle of the screen to place the first corner of the rectangle. Drag your mouse toward upper right and click again to place the opposite corner. You got a rectangle shape lying on the ground. Remember, you are looking at a 3D perspective. So this rectangle looks like diamond, but it looks like it should be in the real world. Select this push-pull tool. One click on the rectangle and move your mouse up, pull it up, and then click again somewhere on the top. Select the pencil tool, it's lines tool. When you move your mouse closer to the middle of the top edge of the front face, it snap to the middle point. You see a light blue dot showing midpoint. Click here to start a line and move your mouse toward the left edge of the front face until you see on edge. Click again on the left edge. You can see when I move my mouse toward to the right edge from that end point, I got a dotted red line across the front page, a front face, until I touch the right edge. I saw the on edge inference showing up. I click it here and I move it back to the midpoint. So I got a triangle roof shape in the front face. Pick up the push-pull tool again. One click at the right triangle area and move your mouse all the way to the right until you pass the end wall of the house and the click somewhere at the really back area. One click. Okay, the triangle disappear. Do the same thing for the left side. Now you have a sloping roof for your duck house. I'm going to build a door. Select the shape again. Click one from the bottom of the front face and drag this rectangle up. You see this rectangle is shown in green color because it's along it's along the blue and the right plane. So it's showing as green and also you see the on face inference. Click again to get this door area. Okay, I'm going to make this door a little bit nicer. Pick up this arc tool. One click, first click at the end point on left, second click right here, and then I move back my mouse to the middle point. Not clicking, but drag my mouse up to have like a a uh, half circle so click somewhere you look it looks nice okay so I don't need the horizontal line right there pick up the eraser right here and erase this line I'll push this door inside use the push pull tool again one click See this dotted blue area? One click here. Move your mouse to the right or up. Just feel like you push the doorway inside. And the click again somewhere. Just give it a little bit thickness. P 
pick up the eraser again. See the eraser has a little circle at the corner of the eraser. Click on the bottom edge of the inside of the doorway area. It will disappear. Now click on this orbit to look around. You got a pretty good looking dark house. It's a huge one. <laughs> anyway, you can build it big or small. We haven't introduced precision here, so that's okay. Put on some material. Just color will be fine. Pick any color, one click at any color you like to pick it up in the bucket and click again on any surface. Now I want to orbit to the other sloping roof. I can press down the scrolling view on my mouse, the middle view on my mouse, press it, press it down and orbit. When I release, I'm still in the mode of the paint bucket. I click on this sloping roof. Okay, I'm going to change some color. How about light yellow for the wall? Paint here, here. Scroll your view up to zoom in. Paint it here, here, and press the view down to orbit and release and click here to apply the color. Scroll the view down to zoom out. Oh, you can use this one to zoom extend to fit all the model to your window. And use the scroll orbit to the back. Don't forget the back wall. And scroll your view to zoom out and change back to the bucket, paint bucket. It's still the same color. Paint it. So this is a practice for you to use all the navigations and get familiar with how to operate in your model. Okay, I'm going to choose another color applied to the inside. Click here, 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 and here. Okay. So I'm going to use Zoom Extend and Orbit. OK, you get an OK looking dark house. This is your first project. Click on the file and click on Save. Choose a place to give it a name and click on save. So next time when you launch SketchUp and go to the location, you can open this file. We are going to add more details, dimensions, all the other things. So this is for today. Practice.